Frank, uh, good to see you. It, perhaps it was or was not a surprise that parents respond along party lines when it came to whether they would want a, a vaccine mandate in schools. Yet they all responded that having a safe environment is their top priority. What do you make of that? There is the ability for common ground if we want it. And I think the, the argument is do you put parents first or politics first. And this is the message that I say to my Republican colleagues and my Democratic colleagues alike. You've already politicized the issue. You've already drawn these sharp lines. These kids are going back to school in two or three weeks. Whether they're going back safe and secure is up to you to make the right decisions. And it is not a surprise, another finding from the uh, De Beaumont Foundation, I urge you viewers to go to the De Beaumont Foundation website because you'll see the entire data, entire data set, is that the parents who are vaccinated produce vaccinated kids. The communities that have a high degree of vaccination produce schools and classrooms that have vaccinated children. So safe parents, safe kids, safe communities, safe schools, and those that aren't safe in those places where they're not getting the vaccine, particularly in the southern states, they are susceptible. And the only bright light that I see, and I'm, I'm, I'm very pessimistic about this, but a bright light I do see is that the Delta variant has changed the minds of people across the country who are hesitant. Hmm. This is a, a opportunity here because there is genuine fear, genuine concern. It, it should not have to be this way, but it's what it is. And, and of course, we know the longer this pandemic goes on, the longer more people are not vaccinated, the potential for other mutant uh, variations, variants, it continues. In fact, it's inevitable there will be more other variants, and God forbid there's some variant that you know, only impacts children or severely impacts children, um, that, you know, that would be cataclysmic uh, for globally. Do, do you, is there a, a breakdown that you see in, in, the, in the focus groups that you do of parents who support vaccinations of children, mandatory vaccinations of children in general for a whole variety of the illnesses which kids get vaccinations for in order to go to school? And I mean, are there some parents who support the idea of vaccines in general and some mandated vaccines, but just are against, for some reason, this COVID vaccine because it's been so politicized? Or generally, if you're against a mandated vaccine for children in school, is it because you're against all vaccines? No, there is, and, and we have a, two opportunities. One is right now, because kids are preparing to go back to school, and the other one will come in September. I believe this, the... Uh, uh, the Center for Disease Control, the CDC, will approve officially the vaccine. It won't be a conditionary approval. It'll be a full approval. And that will convince millions of Americans who have not been vaccinated to get vaccinated. But Anderson, that raises a point. If you condemn those who have up to now asked to be given time, to be patient, that they want to ensure that there are no side effects, that they acknowledge that the vaccine was, was developed very quickly, there are lines, there are responses to that. They cut uh, bureaucracy, they didn't cut corners. 95% of all doctors have been vaccinated. 95%, even more than 95% of those in the hospital, remember this, if you're in the hospital because of COVID, 95% of you were not vaccinated. Mm. So we know these, but, but that's what needs to be communicated. And Anderson, my greatest fear in all of this is that there'll be an anger among those who aren't vaccinated that they're being disrespected and that they're being forced into doing this, and that just makes them more obstinate. And I'm also afraid of those who have been vaccinated that lose their cool, lose their temper, because in the end, if you yell at a child, a child won't listen to you. If you teach them, if you educate them, if you bring them towards you, you can have the greatest impact. So I'm urging the people in the media, I know how frustrated you are, and I know you want to say to them, look, we can't wait any longer, get the damn shot but that's not how you would get people vaccinated. And in the end, this is why I'm in this country right now. This is why I'm on your show right now. This is my mission, it's my purpose. It's why I exist. Instead of yelling at people, let's teach them, educate them and pull them to make the right decisions for themselves, their families, their friends and their community. Yeah, well said, Frank Lent, I appreciate it. Thank you very much.